Salt is so much part of daily life that it's even made its way into our language as a metaphor for value. Hardworking people are known to be worth their salt, and the most worthy amongst us are known as the salt of the earth. South Africans rate pretty high when it comes to discretionary salt use. The World Health Organization suggests we should only use five grams of salt a day. That's about a teaspoon. But some experts think that South Africans use up to 40 grams of salt. It's quite a bit more. The question is, what is salt? Well, let's go find out. You reach across the table and your arm hits the salt cellar, which wobbles and then falls. The crystals of salt are barely scattered onto the tablecloth. When you reach forward, pick up a few grains and toss them over your left shoulder. That's not the only superstition around salt. Our bodies need sodium to function, but generally our consumption way outstrips our needs. Excess sodium in the body is filtered out using our kidneys, but sometimes we consume so much that the body struggles to get rid of it. And that's when health problems can arise. Contrary to popular belief, salt doesn't come from the salt cellar on the table. It's sourced from a number of naturally occurring places on the planet and manufactured under careful supervision. Guys, this is very impressive. My first question is to you, Clifford. Where does salt come from? Salt is actually all over, but the main sources where we get salt from uh, is from seawater and then your inland pans and then from deep shaft mining, which is currently not being done in South Africa. What are the different kinds of salt in the market and what are they used for? There are many of flavors and colors of salt available, but generally in South Africa we use salt for your agricultural industry, for the feeding of cattle, for example for human consumption, and then also for the, in the food processing industry. Well, we call it salt, but if you look at the back of food labels, it says sodium. Why is that? Salt is actually not just sodium. It's a chemical part of, of sodium and chloride. It is uh, generally 60% chloride and 40% sodium. When we talk about salt, we generally refer to the table salt variety, or at least the fine white powder that you wouldn't be arrested for consuming. Now, Philip, you're in charge of manufacturing at this plant, so I've got a few interesting questions. Where does pink salt come from? Pink salt is from the Himalayan region in Pakistan. The pink color in the salt itself comes from the high iron content. Why do you think salt is such a valuable resource? Way back, salt was one of the most sought after commodities in human history. Because salt was so hard to come by, it actually got a very high value of trade. Human soldiers, for instance, got paid in salt. Now, the salt I use clearly says on the bottle, iodized salt. What is that? See, the human body needs iodine to function properly. Way back, South Africa was identified as one of the countries where, especially in the rural areas, where people didn't get in iodine in a natural way, because you get it naturally in fish. Now, as a manufacturer, you can be honest. Do you think South Africans use too much salt? We as South Africans, we love to cook with uh, salt. If you ask any chef, they will tell you, listen, if there's one ingredient that they can't do without, it will be salt. And further to that, I think we love processed food. Unfortunately, there's, uh, there's salt in all of these products, but salt itself is not bad. It needs to obviously be consumed in moderation. The very latest statistics show that eating too much salt contributed to over 2 million deaths from heart attacks, strokes and other heart-related diseases throughout the world. Despite the popular myth that if you have high blood pressure, your face will be flushed and your heart will be racing, remember this condition is also known as the silent killer, mostly because it has no symptoms at all. So the bottom line is, let's take a lesson from Goldilocks. Not too much, not too little, but just the right amount.